I'm David the Bruce, and this is Jungle Queens, where we take a look at the white women of Africa that were all the rage. These were the warriors, these were the go-getters, these were the um, examples of independent women long before um, modern feminist movement came around. In 1935, uh, Jungle Queen movies were being made all over the place and there was still more to come even up through the 50s, maybe even um, dripping into the 80s, yeah. And uh, the comic books, wow, legendary. But this particular one, um, Queen of the Jungle is interesting because it uses archival footage from the jungle goddess, I believe it was 1922. How about that, huh? They could uh, recycle footage from a former Jungle Queen film in this one. And uh, it also stars uh, Mary Kornman. Now, Mary Kornman is kind of interesting because she had her major start in our gang comedy. I mean, Holy cow, it just about knocked my socks off when I, when I discovered that. Queen of the Jungle with Mary Kornman. Absolutely. Here we go. Well, Ken, it's certainly great to be back in the jungle again. Well, another hour or two of this, and we'll be there. Home sweet home.
David Ward, I wish you'd tell me how you get so dirty. What if your father should come home and find you like this? Do you think you're good today? Gee, are you happy, David? Sure, I'm happy. I'm going to worry next trip. Oh, no. Well, I told him I was. And since you told him, of course he'll have to take you. What's the matter, Joan? If your daddy takes him away, I won't have anybody to play with. Well, we'll worry about that when the time comes. Oh, Mary. Yes, dear. Can you come here a minute, please? Here, yeah, my shirt. Mary, I, I found it at last. I don't know why, why I never realized it before. The Mongoola doesn't follow the markings on the map. It turns off here to the west and enters the Tangigi range of mountains. Then we are going home? Say, that's where the radium deposit should be. I don't know why I never realized it before. Three years here, looking, searching. Only three years. A new radium deposit of considerable size would mean that that new experiments could be conducted all over the world with so little of it in existence. Hello! Ah, <laughs> Davy! Well, well. How's my big man? What, did you bring me? What, already? Did you? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Well, then, I brought you a lot of firecrackers for the 4th of July and a new dress for Joan. Any good boy? Oh, Hello, Mary. Mary. Hello, David. John, how are you? Did you have a good plate? Pretty good. Kind of hot. Mary, I've got a lot of mail for you. Oh, good. Plate? Pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Quinda, Quinda! What's that, Daddy? Well, oh, that's a balloon. Balloon? You don't mean to say they're going up in it? Yes, and down this time I have it. We can't locate the burial ground of the elephant from the air in a balloon, and it just can't be done. Can I go with you? Now, who's going to stay and take care of Joan if you go away? She's a girl. She can't do things like that. Well, we'll talk about it later. Mm, right now, I smell cooking. And Mary, look out. I'm awfully hungry. Come on. Yeah, bad boy. I didn't mean to hurt her. You said too. Honest, I didn't mean to hurt her. Are you sorry? I'm sorry. sorry. I should make the Tanjiki Mountains by nightfall. And the elephant burial ground the day after tomorrow, if your calculations are right. Check. And then we'll go after your radium deposit. Right. And three years' effort will be rewarded. <laughs> Many moons, O oh Master. It is very small. Even a speculatum as small as the eye of a bird is worth a great deal of gold. He who thinks too much of gold is not of use to the sacred cult of moon. Your word is law, O oh Master. We will test this radium.
Return to the Garden of Wrath and defend this secret with your life. Baruch, take this message to the Leopard Woman. part if it was not for you. Is that not the reason that you wish me to guard the ancients of God and of God? The master sends you this message with instructions to guard well our secrets. No one will get in here without me knowing it. We'll probably see them on the way. Yeah, sure. Now, Where's Joan? We were playing hide and go sick and I can't find her. You go in that direction. Get him out and go towards the balloon. It's our only chance. What happened to Daddy? 
the great god Rad demands a sacrifice. We must obey. Remember the legend. One day the white god will come, and he will be angry. A Panama Zuza! White God sent down to us. Take her to the snake cave until we talk.
your dream will come true and that heaven will send her back to us. John, am I dreaming? Hmm? Or is that the chant of the fairy boy? John, I've good news for you. At last, I found a trace of Joan. After 20 years, you found the clue? I found this doll in an old balloon basket, deep in the interior. 
Isn't this the doll she had with her that day? Yes. But we'll never find her. Oh, now you mustn't feel that way. We'll find her. One minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign up. Go, sir. And for you, Hopper. Hopper, woke up. Yeah, he woke up. Pure, is it not, old master? It is good, my son. What? Doug, empty you, Papa. Run. White man? No white man but I shall enter the garden of Rad and live. But he shall never know our secret, old master. Go quickly. Quinda, Quinda. Find a place to camp. Oh, no, find a place. Find a place. Find a place. Find a place. Find Oh, 
Indigo, Simba, Indigo. Oh, it's a death mark of the lion men rat. Lion men are rat, huh? My, 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 Lawrence, aren't you? When did he empty your Yeah, yeah. Do this. Play with who's up. Yeah, yeah, that book back. But I'm David Worth. I've been trying to find you for years. Oh, and my own Quinta. No, you don't understand. You. We are a whole and council of death one. We are to be sacrificed to the rays of God of Ram. Why, impossible. Why, well, that girl can't do that. She's white. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to play a movie. The Marcus Feline. Cooper. Like the Mana. India. Night for some go and kill. Remember your name? Joan Lawrence? She came to us out of the sky in a balloon many moons ago. Well, you speak English. I learned the language of the white man in the Temple of Moon. And you say she came to you out of the sky in a balloon? She came to us out of the sky, the daughter of a white god. You tell her that that's a picture of her as a little girl, and the woman is her mother. Take her. Ask the marker. You see, I'm going to have a lot of fun teaching you English. Huh? Well, we'd better skip that. Santa. Younger I'm to you, Veruca High. Lives in the Garden of Red. Idina Bawana. I shall return in a short time. Take it. 
yours. I found it in the balloon basket. You must have dropped it when you landed. Doll. Doll? No, no, no. It doesn't make music. Like this. Doll. Doll? That's right. Doll? Britches. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. That's the way they go. Oh, 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 wait a minute. No, not now. Will you hate to leave the jungle? Can you stop by Well, won't you be glad to see your mother? The mother? Mother. in answer to my message, O oh Master. Where is this white man? What is he doing? He is in the council room of the Queen. Why did you not execute him? I was prevented from doing so, O oh Kaylee. This man must die, and the white girl with him. She will tell him the secrets of Rad. Then many white men will come. The white man wants to take her to her people. He is teaching her his language. Both of them must be executed. If you fail, then your body shall be thrown to the lions. I shall find a way, O oh Master. What? Everything is ready, Buona. We leave at once. Good. Go? Yeah. Don't go in fear. India, India. I'm basic. You, you. Yoko, M. Toko, Ganga, Retail. What does this mean? When the face it.
Ojo, Wanga, Wikiria, and the Owana. Thank <laughs> you. 
Everything ready? Yeah, Buona. We leave in short time. Good. Oh, by the way, Thorm, you know anything about a mine around here? Mine? Yeah, you know, a place where they dig things out of the ground. Yes, Buona. Would you like to see it? Yes.
Do you know what this is? No. It's pitch blend. It contains radium. Radium? Yes. Don't you know what that is? It comes from the god Rad. And sometimes burns and blind men. Well, why do you bother to dig it out of the earth? We do the bidding if the mass plant will move. Oh. Do you know what this means? It means you've got more radium here than there is in the rest of the world. Well, this is the radium deposit that John Lawrence has been trying to locate. Well, let's move along. David! Ready? Well, that's pretty good. A few suggestions. You know, most people try to get rid of this. See? Put the back in. Now we've got it. And this goes around here. Fine. Well, let's go. Happy? David. Joy. That's right. Well, should we go? Give me say Emma Yuko. A pan of bear. I I say Emma. Yuko. Let's take him along. He may come in handy. to warn you. The white man has taken the queen back to her people. He knows the secret of the Garden of Rad. Why did you allow him to escape? There are only two ways out of the Garden of Rad. You guard this path, and I shall guard the other one. your step.
He says we give her his house for the night, boy. Oh. Well, thanks very much. Well, quite a penthouse. Now, if it only had a garden. Huh? Skip it. This is not so bad. Uh-oh. Soft like cement. Well, anyway, it's dry. I'll go down and see about some food. A look at your keely, David. Mama, it's a cola. We haven't got any caviar in the outfit. You take bananas and like it. Huh? Skip it. Mm-hmm. 
What's the matter? What's happened? Oh, he walked. You say an ape tried to kill you? Someone put him up to it. I wonder where he got the knife. the best he could. Monkey friends are going to stick for life. Sammy Yoko. Huh? Oh, Tom. Yes, Wallace? She's trying to tell me something very important. One minute. And kill you. What do you think? She says one of the monkeys looks like you. Oh, is that so? Well, which one? One like this? <laughs> <laughs> Make camp yet, Tom? Mm. What is it? It's the garden of the voodoo god. Well, is it safe to camp there? I don't want any more trouble, you know. They're very friendly to the people of Rad. 
Well, what do you think? Hiya, hop, I'll boy you. Deal. Well, I guess that's where we camp. Well, I hope this place is as quiet as it looks. Bongoa, Hatha. Bongoa! Bongoa! Everything in the garden of Papa Nepo is yours. Thy size, Sayeta? Boto, come and we will pack food for you. Hungry? Oh, me? It's an old Hungarian custom. How about an English lesson? English? Now, what's my name? Ginger. That's right. And yours? Joey. That's fine. Now, let's see. Face. Kiss? Hmm? No, that's not quite it. You have to fuck her up. Kiss? Hmm? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's enough this time. You need some sleep. Good night. Come on, 
The white man has escaped. We must find him. And do, don't do, and do it. David. Queen of the jungle did not escape after all. Apana, Apana!
Joan, what happened?
Mary Cornman was born in 1915 to a family of gorgeous women. Not only was her mother exceptionally beautiful, but so was her aunt, her mother's sister, who was a Ziegfeld girl under the name of Jerry Rogers. And Mary's younger sister, whose real name was Mildred Jean Cornman, became a successful model under the name of Ricky Van Dusen, with 36 film credits to her name. Mary was just five years old when her dad, Jean Cornman who was famed actor Harold Lloyd's still cameraman, brought her to the studio. The director of one of Hal Roach's shorts featuring little kids spotted Mary and was offered her the leading lady role in the newest Hal Roach's Rascals short, The Champion. Her sister, Mildred, also became part of the original R Gang comedies, but was cast in a lesser role. Interestingly, she is still alive as of 2022 and is the only surviving member of the original cast. As Mary grew older, she transitioned into mature roles and continued successfully into the talky era, starring in mostly B movies. She acquired 93 film credits from 1922 to 1940, an 18 years career. my boyfriend. But I guess he isn't here. To lose. He'll pitch. Finally, she retired from acting and spent the balance of her years with her second husband, Ralph McCutcheon, tending to their horse ranch. However, she kept close with her Hollywood acquaintances and friends. When asked if Mary was as kind and genuine a person as she appeared to be on screen, her sister Mildred replied, she was all of that and more. Unfortunately, Mary Cornman passed away on June 1, 1973, in Glendale, California, after a dreadful battle with cancer. She was just 57 years old. Her beloved husband died two years later. When asked in 1960 what she thought of being part of our gang, Mildred Cornman replied, it was fun being a gang member. It was play. I have no regrets, I think we had a privileged childhood working in those films. And it can be said that both Mary and her sister had not only a privileged childhood but also a very privileged life altogether.